A special day here at WDSU. Our weather team is being honored for having the most accurate weather forecast 10 years in a row, a decade. And joining us now to help honor our team is New Orleans City Councilwoman at large, Helena Moreno. Councilwoman, I'm going to let you have the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl, and great to see you, Margaret. Oh, love so, to see you. So look, um, I brought this, this resolution, um, and, and I will say this, I'll be honest, I did use it as an umbrella walking she over here. Did. I did. I did. But I, I brought it on behalf of the city council because we're so proud of the weather team at WDSU, uh, voted by weather rate and certified as the most accurate in southeast Louisiana for 10 years in, the, in a row. So because of that, we have this proclamation from the city council in the name of and by the authority vested in the council of the city of of New Orleans, we, we present this proclamation on behalf of the council to you, Margaret Orr, and to the, and entire, the entire weather team. team as well. So here oh, you go, congratulations. Thank you. This is really exciting, yeah. I've got to say, Helena, not only because I get to see you. Notice to her jacket, I <laughs> bought my jacket because of Helena, I loved it so much. But, you know, here at WDSU, we really work hard to get it right. Mm -hmm. Actually agonize over yeah. each degree what our rain chances are, where it's going to rain, if we have that risk for severe storms. You know, it's all important to people because they need to know what's going to happen so they can plan their day. And you know how often I text you, particularly during really severe events. I'll, I'll never forget, just recently there was a time I was listening to Margaret during one of the severe tornadoes and watching, um, and she was saying, look, you know, this tornado is on the West Bank. It looks like it could be crossing the river. You, you need to take precautions and no doubt about it. You know, I grabbed my little dog. We ran into the, into the bathroom under our stairs to be safe, but it's because you were letting us know what to do. And I'm texting you like, thank you, thank you. You know, everything's yeah. okay. But, you know, so we're just so appreciative of the work that you do and for doing all that you can to make it as accurate as possible. At the end of the day, this is a science. This is a science. It, it is. But, but you all strive to make it as accurate as possible and the city of New Orleans appreciates that. And we appreciate oh, you thank too. You. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, we are truly honored and thankful that we have been able to keep you safe throughout the years. Now, 10 years, the most accurate, and it's uh, independent certification for television weather forecasts. So, Helena, thank you so much. Thank the city council. Of course. We appreciate you. My council pleasure. Woman, thank you so much. And, and Margaret, this is ama amazing, okay? Because being here for a short amount of time as I have, seeing people on the ground, especially mm -hmm. when the tornadoes touched down in Araby, oh, yeah. and they talked firsthand right. about watching us and watching you yeah. and the weather team. And thankfully, you all potentially save some people's lives. That's and what so it's, it's about. It's amazing what you all do at the weather team, working hard each and every day. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Daryl. Really Good to see it. you. All right, still to come, the fentanyl crisis continues to take